How do we get here? Like, what is a covenant in terms of Bitcoin, Jeremy? Yeah, um, so one of the things that I use to explain covenants is that Bitcoin UTXOs, which hopefully we know what those are, that's like a, a coin that you have, is a little bit like a treasure chest. And when you open it up, usually, you get some coins out and you can put those into whatever new treasure chest you want. And that treasure chest could have whatever locks you want to have on it. A covenant is like when you open it up and then instead of gold coins or something, you see it's like Jimi Hendrix's guitar and it says, please only put this into a guitar case in the future. And you're like, okay, so if I open this up then you're gonna leave a little note maybe that says, yeah, when you open this up, please put it into a guitar case. Maybe after it's been opened 10 times, you say something like, take it to the guitar shop to get tuned. That's a covenant. It's like you open up these treasure chests and then you find something that maybe has some additional restriction of what you can do with it. And that's maybe a little bit heady, but you could imagine in Bitcoin, we would have something like, hey, open this up and then move it. And then after you've moved it, you have six months before some other action can happen. Once you take that action, you have a two week grace period, that type of thing. Because we're only thinking about Bitcoin, you can't transact Jimi Hendrix's guitar on the blockchain. I, I like that analogy. You have to put a guitar in a guitar, a guitar case. It's kind of like, provisioning it. Uh